Last week, we introduced a new segment called Counterpoint. I challenged Ibram X. Kendi to come on the show and discuss his philosophies on racism. This week, Logan Paul, who's a YouTuber, got some attention for his own recent anti-racism rant. I invited Logan on the show, and by the way, I want to be very clear that he may actually join me in the near future. I appreciate the fact that he was willing to have an open dialogue, and I may go on his show in the near future. But for right now, I want to make sure that we break down his comments because they did go viral, and it is very important that people know the other side of the argument. It's very important that we challenge this in today's counterpoint. So we're going to break up this video. Let's start from the top. It is not enough to be not racist. You have to be anti-racist. Yes. Condemn those who feign superiority because of the color of their skin. Friends, hold friends accountable. Hold your family accountable. Hold yourself accountable. And most importantly, we must hold our authorities accountable. Okay, I think it's a good start. I mean, I agree with that, obviously. If there's somebody around you that is being racist, you should hold them accountable and say, hey, that's not really cool. So I thought he's off to a strong, very strong start here. The problem is that he continues. If you're white, if you look like me, use your privilege. And for those who do not think white privilege exists, you are blind. You are delusional and you are part of the problem. Okay, so in the first portion of this clip, he tells us that people shouldn't feign superiority because of the color of their skin. And then in the second part, he has just told me, a black person, that he is better than me. He is more privileged than me because of the color of his skin. And that if I don't buy into the idea of white privilege, meaning that white people are more privileged than me, then I'm an idiot. Does that make any sense? Think about what I'm actually saying here. There are a bunch of white people who are doing what he is doing right now. They're going around and saying, I am more privileged than you because of the color of my skin. Is that not the very definition of racism? To look at me, to look at me and to say, you know what? You're black and therefore you are underprivileged. And look at me, I am white. You're an idiot if you don't see that I am more privileged than you. How do people not understand that that is the very definition of racism? I do not have to stress to you how important it is that you protect your online data. How did you choose which internet service provider to use? The sad thing is most of us have very little choice because ISPs operate like monopolies in the regions that they serve. They then use this monopoly power to take advantage of customers. Data caps, streaming throttles, and the list goes on. But worst of all, many ISPs log your internet activity and then they sell that data onto other big tech companies or advertisers. I protect all of my devices with ExpressVPN. It's a simple app for your computer or smartphone that encrypts all your network data and channels it through a secure VPN server so that your ISP cannot see any of your activity. Just think about how much of your life is on the internet. That's the reason that I recommend using ExpressVPN, the number one VPN service by CNET and Wired. It's the best way to hide your online activity from your ISP. You just download the app, tap on the button on your device, and then you are protected. And ExpressVPN does all of this without slowing your connection. So stop handing over your personal data to ISPs and other tech giants who mine your activity and sell off your information. Protect yourself with the VPN that I trust to keep me private online. Visit expressvpn.com slash Candice. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N dot com slash Candice to get three extra months free. Go to expressvpn.com slash Candice right now to learn more. Logan Paul goes on. Let's watch the last clip. I can count on zero hands the amount of times that I have feared for my life at a routine traffic stop. That has never happened. Half of the reason I'm able to get away with some of my hooligan shit I do in my vlogs is because I'm a white kid. Okay, uh, so this is probably really gonna shock Logan, but I have never feared for my life at a routine traffic stop. In fact, two months ago, I was speeding in Montauk and I got pulled over and at no point did I fear for my life. I maybe feared for the fine of the ticket because I happened to be in New York, but I definitely did not think that I was going to be killed by a police officer. What Logan Paul is doing here is he is making an assumption, a very racist assumption, that all black people are having the same experience at all times. He is saying, you know what? One black person has a bad experience with the cop. Therefore, that means that all black people must have a bad experience with the cop. That's racist. 
We are all different individuals, regardless of our skin color. There are going to be some white people who are terrified when they get pulled over, particularly white people that have records and have reasons to fear the police when they have to interact with them. There are going to be black people that have those exact same fears because of similar interactions. But trust me, Logan, there are plenty of us who do not fear when the police pulls them over because we have nothing to hide. I don't buy in. I am not a subscriber to the idea that when a police officer pulls over Candace Owens, it's because he wants to kill her because of the color of her skin. That seems ridiculous to me, which brings me to my last point. Logan, statistics. It turns out, Logan, that your emotions defy reality. The reality is that Black Americans are 13% of the population and yet commit near 50% of all the homicides in this country. The reality is that white men are actually gunned down, unarmed by police officers more often than black men. By rate, look it up. The FBI statistics are available to you too. I suggest you look up those statistics so that when you and I actually have a sit down and have a productive conversation, which I'm very much looking forward to, that you are actually armed with truth and not emotion. Thanks for joining me on this episode of Candace. If you liked this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel and ring the bell to get notifications on new videos. To watch or listen to the full show, become a member today at dailywire.com slash subscribe.